guys, so today is going to be a plus size clothing haul and I wanted to get this up for you guys before I'm hoping I can edit it. I'm filming late at night, it's like 11 p.m. I'm hoping I can edit it and upload it tomorrow. So hopefully you guys are watching this on 12, 21. Not for any other reason other than I just want you to watch it before Christmas because <laughs> I have a dress and a shirt in here that I'm going to be wearing for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and I daily vlog if you guys didn't know that I will have my vlog channel linked down below I daily vlog with my family um, mostly me and the girls on the dresses in there sometimes but I really <laughs> I didn't want to get to the point where I show you like an out Christmas outfit of the day or something and you're like I haven't even seen that dress so here's the haul to it I have Torrid Rose Gal, which was in my last plus size clothing haul. Also, if you hear my voice sounds a little bit weird, I'm just kind of getting over or starting, I don't know <laughs> which one, like some sort of allergy cold type thing. So it's just kind of affecting my throat feels real scratchy. That's that. But I have Torrid, like I said, Rose Gal, which I had in my last plus size clothing haul. I love their stuff. Now they did send me these clothes for free. However, I'm not obligated to film a video or anything for them. I'm not sponsored in any way by getting paid or anything. They sent me the clothes for free. That was my sponsorship. They sent them to me free last time as well, and then they wanted to collaborate again. So I thought I would show you guys. I honestly really like their stuff. Really like it. A lot of people in my last vlog, in my last haul, were asking me if it's legit, what's the shipping like. The shipping, no joke, is probably going to take... 10 days like a week and a half to two weeks for it to get to you but for the price it's good quality stuff I told you in my last haul as well the sizing is kind of weird so you do have to be careful with that let's go ahead and jump right into the haul oh I also have one thing from Walmart's plus size section if you're wondering where my shirt is from now it's from the plus size section at Target Ava and Viv is that what it's called <laughs> last year it actually may just be from the regular. It's just a one, I think it's a 1X. But it's perfect for Christmas time because it has like little strands of red glitter throughout it. And I just have gel in my hair. I have some Christmas earrings on and a necklace from, I want to say, Forever 21 years, years ago. I went to a Christmas party tonight. So let's jump right into the haul. And this is also going to be a try on. So I will have cutaway clips like I usually do of all of the goodies. All right, so the first thing, and I have a just random pile here, so it's not going to be in any particular order. I just had Rose Gal here on top first. This, you guys have actually seen before. I got this in the white version, and I think I hauled it in my very first Rose Gal haul. And I love the shirt, I love it. I wore it to Maddie's birthday party. So I will try these on for you because they do look a little different, but I love the cut of the shirt. So it is a floral, um, it's supposed to be, like it has these straps right here because it's supposed to be off the shoulder, but I find with me it kind of like sits on my shoulders like this. It has just a normal sleeve with a tie here that I tie into a bow, and then it kind of goes just regular down at the bottom so this brand, this one I got in a 5x typically that's what I told you about their sizing is like real weird typically the 5x is like a 20 or a 22 I tend to get the 5x when it's more of a 22 and if you go to whatever I will have the links to each of these individually listed down below if you click on it you can go if you look at the sizing chart, it'll tell you in US what size it is because obviously a 5X, it would be very big on me. I don't wear a 5X in US. I wear a 2X, sometimes a 3X, most of the time a 3X. So 5X would be kind of big, but in Rose Gal, their clothes are made over in China and a 5X is a size 22 and it works. So this is beautiful. You guys know I love floral. I love the navy. So I got that one, and then I also picked up the other colors as well. Let me dig in my pile and show you because once I knew that white one fit so nicely, I had to get one in every color. So the next one I picked up is maroon, which again, it's the exact same shirt, all of them, just different colors. This one's maroon. 
I love this one too. Great fall color and I love the fact that it has like this mustard yellow in it. These all fit super well as, as well. Super good, whatever. <laughs> and I love the navy. This one I wasn't sure about because I didn't know if the like tan color of it would look too much like my skin tone. It was hard to tell on the website, but there's enough contrast between this and my skin that it looks beautifully. I actually think this would look even better on somebody with darker skin. Any, pretty much anywhere darker than me. I think it would look great, um, but I, it's pretty nonetheless. So yeah, I picked up all three of those. Now I own every one of the colors of those shirts. The white one and the navy, I think are hands down my favorite. Okay, so just like last time, I have a few things that don't fit which is kind of disappointing because I would think if you go based on the sizing on the website it should fit but they don't and I really like them they're just a little too snug this one is a little bit different it's a sweater and it says love which is super cute just got long black sleeves it's almost like a sweater t-shirt because the material feels more like a t-shirt like a cotton shirt not necessarily like sweater sweater so it's not super thick but I love the fact that it has like an open neck so you could wear it off the shoulder if you wanted to you don't have to though and when I first got it and I picked it up and I was like oh, that, that looks like it may be a little tight down at the bottom because it's shorter it's not like a huge oversized sweater and sure enough that's exactly what it's like right around my midsection if it's everywhere like up top if I was just wearing it for a video you guys wouldn't have any idea it's tight around my belly this one is in a 3x and when I went back I didn't know why I ordered a 3x until I looked at the sizing and the sizing said a 3x was a 20 again sizing is kind of weird so I thought I could pull it off and apparently not this is not far from fitting though so I definitely will hold on to it until it fits a little bit better my goal probably within 20 pounds I hate holding on to clothes that don't fit but it's just so cute like I'm very disappointed I think what happened is they didn't have another size a bigger size in stock and so I just got it hoping it would fit and it's just a little too snug to wear out and about same thing with this one really pretty shirt but the arms are just slightly too tight this one I did get in a 5x and it's like I said really pretty I actually thought for tax time it would be it would fit nicely it has this like crochet detailing up at the bust it also has it on the back they had this shirt in many 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 colors and the reason it doesn't fit is it's because it's that like I want to say this is probably polyester but it feels like I think I looked last time everything's in Chinese yeah everything's in Chinese so I don't know but it's that like it almost feels like chiffon material of some sort I know it's not but that's kind of what it feels like and it's it's long enough like the whole thing fits just the arms kind of make my arm because it's tighter kind of make my arms sit out like this and I have bigger arms for my size so yeah it just it is what it is it didn't go any bigger and because the arms don't stretch at all, there's like no give. I'll have to lose probably an inch in my arms to get it on. So, again, I will save it for another time. Those are the only two things out of this whole haul that didn't fit, though. That's the chance you take, and Rose Gout does do returns. However, because they send me the clothes for free, I, did, I don't return them. I mean, that's just not something that I'm going to be like, Hey, uh, I picked this out. It doesn't fit. Can you exchange it for free for me? But if you're a paying customer, definitely return that and get something different. Again, it'll just be a waiting game. But for the prices, I just, I still think you cannot beat it. Okay, this one I wore, did I wear this one? No, I didn't wear this one, I wore the cover up. This is a black lacy shirt. This one is in a, it says US 22. And you can see here it has lace detailing up at the neckline. All along the sleeve is lace detailing. I love this for the winter time. I don't know, and it must be the style right now. But the whole thing is lace. It has a V-neck that kind of cover the front region. <laughs> and then it's all it's a little high low. And I did try this on and it does look rather cute with some jeans and boots. 
So I really like that one and I believe that one came in more colors as well. This is the one that I wore already and I really like. I wore it in a vlog. This is in a 5X as well and it's a um, like a cover up. I don't want to call it a cardigan because it's more like a cover up. It's definitely not sweater material but you can see it has lace detailing all throughout the back and on the tops of the arms with a longer sleeve here. This one's actually a little bit big on me. If you like your cover-ups or whatever big, you'll like this one, but I probably could have gone to a 4X, maybe even a 3X, because this is not something that, like, you cover. You know, it doesn't button or anything. It's just meant as, like, an accent. So because of that, it is a little bit big, but it's not too long. I think I wore it over, like, a black tank top or something the other day, and it looked nice. So I got this mainly for H&R Block, because I do wear clothes like that to work. Let me see, what else did I get? Oh, I got this one. Oi, dropping everything. I got this shirt. Obviously, like I said, I was into that lace detailing. Oh, you know what? I could have worn this one to the party. Maybe I'll wear this one tomorrow. <laughs> it's red. I was looking for something red. And actually, in comparison to my shirt, this is more red. This is more of like a maroon red or like a burgundy, I guess. I don't know. It's like a deeper red. Let's put it that way. This is more bright red. Um, this one is in a 5X as well. And it has these like straps here. And then it has the cold shoulder and the lace detailing all the way down on both sides. And then it also has the lace detailing. Or this is more like crochet detailing on the chest. And it's just flowy at the bottom. So again, this would look great with some leggings or some jeans with some boots. And again, apparently I was into that lace thing when I was ordering. This is super cute, also kind of holiday-ish. It is like a faux sweater. I got this in a 5X, and it's a t-shirt. It has a cow neck, like it's t-shirt material. It has a cow neck like that with these faux buttons here that have kind of like an Aztec print on them. Uh, geometric type print and then the sleeves have that same print all the way down but from afar it looks like it would be a sweater but it's not it's a t-shirt and it's tunic style and it's kind of what is that like a line where it goes down on both sides I don't know if that's what that is called or not but it's long so again great with leggings covers your butt with some there's fireworks going off that's crazy <laughs> I'm like, it's 11 p.m. But this was really nice. I don't think they had that one in any other colors. That's one thing about Rose Gal. They usually have a lot of their shirts and stuff in multiple colors. And it makes it really nice because if you're not into maroon, you can definitely pick up something else. Okay, the last thing I got from Rose Gal on this order was this shirt, this uh, cover up. And I wore this in a vlog and my Costco haul on my vlog channel recently, just within the last few days, and I love it. I love it. It is so cozy and comfortable. This is also a bit oversized. It's a US 22. I probably could have got the 22, maybe even the 18, just because, again, it is definitely more of just like a cover-up. I love this, though. It is kind of big, and the sleeves are a little bit long, but it's so cozy and comfy. 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 <laughs> you guys know I love the floral prints. I love the navy. Those are like my two favorite combinations right now. It's a very silky satin type material. It feels, I think I described it in that vlog as like, feels like a bathing suit. That's how stretchy it is. And it's just so beautiful and it's nice and long. So it completely covers your butt. I wore it the other day with like a I don't even remember. I think it was a cold sh shoulder shirt, but it was a little chilly outside, and this was perfect to go over it. I absolutely love that one. Okay, so that was all my Rose Gal stuff. Like I said, I will have everything individually linked down below. The bad thing about Rose Gal is sometimes they sell out of stuff because it's more of like a flash website. Sometimes they have things for a long time. Sometimes they don't, and they don't tend to restock very often. So if you find something you like, buy it, because if you wait on it, I'm afraid you won't be able to get it in the long run, that's just how the website works. So 
Next, let me show you Walmart, just because I only have the one thing. So for Christmas, every year, typically Christmas Eve, we do pajama, our Christmas pajamas or whatever. And okay, so let me rewind. For Christmas Eve, we... Fireworks. <laughs> so for Christmas Eve, we host here at our house and it's a dress up type of event. We will usually wear what we wore in our Christmas pictures because that is our Christmas theme for the year, which in this case is a dress I'm about to show you. In the evening, we wear our Christmas jammies. The next morning for Christmas morning, we wear our Christmas jammies. And then when we go to brunch and to go visit my grandpa's grave, we typically dress in cutesy little holiday outfits. So this year, I picked up this sweater. Typically I go with like a red sweater, a green shirt. I think last year I wore like a green sweater or maybe I wore this one last year. I've worn just red shirts before. Um, we've worn our crazy Christmas sweaters and this is kind of what this one is. I think this is what I'm going to wear this year. I got this from Walmart. It's from the brand Holiday Time. It's a 3X which is a 2224 and I thought it was so cute. It's um, like a mint greenish blue color and it has a reindeer on it and the reindeer has some uh, glasses, sequin glasses and a hat and some jingle bells and <laughs> I just thought this was so cute and so different. I picked it up mainly because I enjoy wearing and having that couple of pieces in my wardrobe that I can kind of carry from year to year that are silly or fun. Like how fun is that? And I don't think it was very expensive. I don't even know where the tag is. I guess it didn't have one. Oh, it was ripped off. Um, I want to say it was like maybe $12 or something. And you can probably find these things like very <laughs> inexpensive after Christmas if you want to get one for the next year. But I thought these were just, this is just so cute. So I think I'm going to wear this. Maybe I'll wear the other red one. Christmas. I don't know. I always have so many parties and stuff to go to. I like to have different outfits to put in pictures or you know to have in pictures so I don't look back and I'm like I wore that shirt to that Christmas party last year I like to have outfits to mix mix it up a bit so that's just one more thing to add to the collection okay now on to Torrid so first things first I got my holiday dress from Torrid this year we went with a navy theme navy and gold but it turned out just to be navy really because my dress is pure navy autumn's is pure navy and the big girls do have navy and a splash of gold in their dress but it, we turned out to be just navy really <laughs> navy and black i think so this is the dress that i got it is like i said from torrid i had to order it online so i don't think you guys will be able to get it however it would still make a pretty good new year's dress um, so if you wanted to order it you probably could get it before new year and these don't come typically torrid sizes come in like one two three or whatever I just got this in a straight up 22 and to be honest I probably could have done a 20 just because of the cut of the dress it is more fitted here on top and you can see in the clips like up top it is definitely more fitted it has a um, like crochet detailing up top and then it does kind of sweetheart here at the bust and it cinches in at the waist so I'm smaller here than my hips are. Like I can wear something smaller here than my hips go. Does that make sense? So because the dress cinches in kind of here, honestly I probably could have done a 20 because the dress is so big and poofy at the bottom, I don't think it would have mattered that I had a 20. It zips up fine. I don't know. It doesn't really matter because it's such a like va va voom dress that Honestly, I think if I ever wore it again, somebody would notice. Um, so yeah, that's what it looks like. It's just navy and it has that kind of crochet detailing all throughout. It does have uh, sequins on it, which makes it very holiday. And then kind of at the bottom, it has like that, what I consider like a doily on top of a, mm, whatever this material, that same like stretchy swimsuit material. And then it has a few layers of tulle and then another stretchy swimsuit layer. I don't. I know I'm awful with fabrics. That's not my forte for sure. So this dress was. I thought I saved. Oh yeah, is that it? 
I thought I saved the tags, but I guess I didn't. I saved the tags to two things, but I guess I didn't save the tag to this one. Um, but I want to say it was like 110. I don't know. I'll link it down below, but I got it on sale. I got it on super sale. It was like a percentage off because I ordered it over Black Friday and Cyber Monday weekend. Um, so I did not pay full price. I want to say it was around 60 after all the discounts and everything. So it wasn't bad for a holiday dress for a plus size one at that. Unfortunately, I have being plus size, I have harder time, a harder time finding clothes that fit that look good that I feel comfortable in that match everybody for a decent price so $60 in my book was not bad I also during that order wanted to get a pair of jeans so I ended up picking up these let me see if I can tell you what these are I've already worn them like three or four times so you know they're comfortable <laughs> um, I don't see it says torrid premium skinny Torrid Premium Skinny Jean in a 22 regular. I don't know if that helps anybody at all, but I got, that's all it says everywhere, so I don't even know. These were originally, I want to say 74, is this the right one? Yeah, this is the tag. Premium Stretch Skinny Black Bay, size 22. Like I said, I will link them down below. These fit phenomenally. They hug in all the right places. They are great. I got them in the, I wanna say medium wash. Now for me, I'm 5'5", five five, probably more on the like 5'4 five side of 5'5", five five. <laughs> but I always, my license says I'm 5'5", five five because I feel like I'm taller. These are a regular. Um, I don't think I said the price. They were $74.90. However, they were on some sort of sale. I think the whole website was like 30 or 40% off for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And I think I had some sort of small something, like toward discount or something. I don't know. Anyway, these I got in a regular because I have a pair of regular from the clearance, like legging type things and they shrunk in the dryer and they are no longer I want to say they were petite not regular and they look more like boyfriend jeans like that style they look shorter than regular skinny so these because I have not washed them yet these are probably like this much too long for me I don't know that they're going to shrink that much but I was hoping that by getting regular I actually consider getting tall and I'm so glad I didn't because these are I have to kind of cuff them over if I wear flats because they'll drag on the floor other than that they fit great they look good on all aspects of my body even my stomach which is makes me feel a little bit more self-conscious nowadays because of having two babies the way that it's shaped and stuff so that's nice. Now, these I have not tried on yet. These are the Torrid Printed Leggings Full Length. I got them in a size 3. They don't have a tag on them, but I got the floral print. They were on clearance, I believe. But I don't know how much, but this is what they look like. I have not tried these on yet because I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to wear them with. I think the model online had like a black, some sort of black shirt and a blazer on over. Um, but yeah, I thought they were really pretty. I do love floral. I have a pair of floral leggings from, and a darker print from Walmart that I really like. So I was curious to check out Torrid's. Honestly, they don't seem that much better to me and they're more expensive like they still seem a little thin and see through I'll see when I finally get them on they're 95% polyester 5% spandex so and it's like a cotton material on the outside so I'm sure they're going to fade and stuff so we'll see I've never tried their leggings but I'm curious since I love all their other stuff if I like these as well the next thing I picked up is a shirt this one is a size 3 it was $42.90 and then again with some discounts and stuff, I don't remember. I think my whole order for all of this stuff, including the dress, was like 210 or somewhere around there. And which those everything was a really great price. But of course, floral. <laughs> this one was on clearance, I believe. 
and it has this like kind of a I don't know high neckline to it with a cold shoulder a pretty substantial cold shoulder also it's like more of a cold upper part of your arm with long they're not bell sleeves but they have some cinching here at the wrist and this shirt looks really great on and then the thing I like most about it is the paneling at the bottom is stretchy so when you put it on it kind of hides those it conforms to your body but it hides the imperfections because you don't really see it because the blouse is kind of slouched over it so that's really pretty I can't wait to wear that one and then lastly I've already worn this one as well I got this I want to say it was on clearance I love their sweaters they're so expensive though this one was $44.90 and I got it in a size 4 because I knew I wanted it big and oversized and actually <laughs> I'm wishing I had got it in a three because it is very big and oversized um, but it's nice it's 50% cotton 50% polyester it says girls rule on the front of it and the thing that I guess bothers me the most about how big this is is the uh, sleeves are really big like I can take them off and my hand kind of flops around other than that I guess it looks okay but that's how I wanted it I wanted it big and baggy possibly off the shoulder and also um, just like super cozy and comfortable if I wanted to wear it at home or if I wanted to wear it out I wore this with the jeans and I was so comfortable so yeah that is the last thing that I got from Torrid and I probably will find some more stuff I really like the jeans and honestly I don't have any jeans that fit me well anymore I have jeans that are a size 20 back when I was like before I got pregnant with Autumn, just so weird and crazy how much your body changes from having a baby. I have, it's like all my weight has kind of gone to the lower part of my stomach. I've never had that before and it was bad when I had Maddie and it just got 10 times worse when I had Autumn. So now it's like I kind of have to reconform what I wear, how I wear it and things like that. Even my beloved Forever 21 leggings don't always make me feel comfortable like they used to. So I probably will go back and get some more jeans at some point, um, but that'll probably be it for the fall. I more than likely won't get much else for the fall, and then I'll restart up again with a new season, seeing what else they have. So anyway, that was the end of my haul, my try on clothing plus plus clothing haul. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.